Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Hawaii in Real Life. We're here at Jikon Honganji in Kalihi, and we're here with Champuru, Donna, and David of the Okinawans. And um, in the last segment, we talked about um, a few things, pointers for one dances, and I wanted to know a little bit more how I'm going to fit in, like um, some basic moves that I should know. So, what what are some moves I should okay, learn. Okay, if you're gonna learn Okinawan dancing, the one thing that you need to learn is how to turn. Okay. In almost every Okinawan bone dance, there's a turn. Okay. So you bring your hands up, so turn around, and then you're gonna turn around, and then you lead with your palms down. And is it always, um, you turn the, the same way? Generally, yes, to the left. Oh, okay. I can't think of any other, any <laughs> the other way. Yeah, it's usually to the left. So this way, and then come down. And you don't want to have your hands open like this. Oh, really? Yeah, so you keep your fingers <laughs> together. And that's with Japanese and Okinawan dancing. Oh, okay, okay, good to know. And um, for Japanese dancing, um, some of the common movements is the, the moon. You'll see this a lot. And then the half moon. Um, also, I think they call it soldiering, is that correct? Soldier back. And then there's front. And what is that for? Just a... Just Interjectory move. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Um, yeah, Japanese motions have some of the similar ones throughout, um, you know, the different dances. Yeah. Which is the one um, that goes faster and faster? Is it Japanese or Okinawan? Oh, that's the Okinawan one. Probably so, yeah. 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 Uh, I... and oh, yeah. Natsujin Gushiku. But that one's. In... I know it starts off normal, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think it's just the musicians like to see the dancers, I mean, torture them a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's just my theory. <laughs> I figure so. But then you guys do a lot of repetitive moves, right? So it's yeah. it's easy to... So, so one thing about Okinawa, and I think a lot of the Japanese uh, bone dances, uh, you know, you only have to learn a few basic moves, like how Donna just showed the turn, and then you almost have a lot of the dances. Uh, for each song, you will learn maybe four, five, six moves, and all you do is just repeat over and over. So it's really uh, not so intimidating to uh, actually join in and have fun. So typically, we have the dancers, and we have we, each performers will usually have uh, dance leaders. So a lot of the, you know, all you have to do is follow one of them, and uh, basically, uh, it's pretty easy to do. So. Really okay. less intimidating. And then, you know, a lot of the spectators actually already know the dance as well, too. So it's easy to follow them as well, too. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Now, um, to learn the dances, though, I know some temples have uh, practices, um, like, the week before the, the bun dance. Is, is that pretty that's, common? or That's quite common. So I would recommend if you're interested in attending a particular temple bun dance, maybe calling them and seeing if they are holding a practice. Because um, each temple may have you know, slight variations in the dances. So it's good to learn mm. from that temple. See, good to know. And, and it's free, right? That's correct. And if you want to learn Okinawan dancing, um, the young Okinawans hold um, bone dance practices every Friday at 6.30 here at Jiko In. Oh, mm -hmm. and see, that's I didn't know that. <laughs> through June. <laughs> through June. Only, only through June. Oh, okay, okay. And these are also free, you're saying? That's correct. And you don't have to be Okinawan to... No, you don't have to be young <laughs> or Okinawan Just, to come. Uh, so young at heart interested. <laughs> So I'm looking at the cameraman who's trying not to shake. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone is welcome. Cool. Okay, now, um, once we learn the dances, though, is there anything we should do to blend in or any faux pas we should avoid? Well, one thing that's good to know is that if um, when you're dancing in the inner circle, that will be your dance leaders. So generally, if you are new to bond dancing, don't go into the very innermost circle because that's the the dance leaders where they're dancing <laughs> so, oh okay but, but it's okay um, if i have a camera right like sometimes i like to shoot outwards so i think that should be okay right yeah okay okay yeah. as long as you're not standing in the middle yeah. of you know and everybody's way in. right right yeah. and that okay. brings me to another point is that if you're in the bone dance circle don't stop and answer your cell phone and oh. stand there <laughs> while everybody's trying to dance so <laughs> so that's another full pot to avoid because everybody is dancing in a clockwise direction so they're not going to stop for anybody the bone right. dance uh, spectators are you know they're hardcore dancers so they're not going to stop for anybody so if you have children you know really watch out and watch them as well too oh, okay 
Yeah, I've seen those little old ladies. They have like this the sleeves with all kinds of stuff hidden inside. <laughs> Whack. That's no, right. I've never seen that, but you know, you never know. <laughs> That's right. Be careful. But yeah, those are some things to remember. Okay. And then as far as food goes, I know someone was asking about uh, food and activities at the Bon Dances. Is there, do you know about like for Jikoin, is there anything special that they're known for? Jikoin, well, Jikoin has the undagi. <laughs> Uh, Jikoin is really a, has an Okinawan history, so they, they, they do a lot of Okinawan food and Okinawan music here. And so one of the specialties is the andagi, and then I know that we do tapo rice. And I'm trying to remember sukiyaki, <laughs> uh, casey, waffle dogs. So it's not just Okinawan, it's all kinds of food that you right. would see at other bone dances as well, too. UFOs. What? What UFOs? is that? What is that? You don't know a UFO? Right? No. <laughs> Uncle Kauai. Hi. <laughs> Flying saucers. Yes, yes. Flying saucers. Yeah, okay. okay. And I don't know too much about those. Though. And they're going to be here? Are, are they going to be here? Do you know? We're thinking about doing it this year. We're not sure yet. It's, okay. uh, they're thinking about it. Still in the planning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so wait, so when is the Jikoin Bond dance? Do you know? July 21 and 22, I believe. Friday, okay. Friday night, Saturday night. So we got plenty of time to prepare and they got plenty of time to figure out how to get these UFOs into their bond dance. But then you guys also, now Friday and Saturday, I heard that you guys have different things on Friday and Saturday, right? Like there's... Uh, Performance-wise, uh, well, this year's going to be the first year where they're going to be, Jikoin is going to be doing all Okinawan, bond, all Okinawan performances uh, on Friday. So I think there's actually four groups all together that's going to be performing. And uh, we will be uh, performing one of them. I believe Hawaii Shinyu Asa is performing, which is another group that uh, drums, does the uh, Asa drumming. And then we also have Teishinkai, and I forgot the fourth group, uh, Paranku Club of Hawaii. So there will be several different groups playing this year. Oh, wow. So, wow, so you better come out and check these check these dances out. And I noticed one other thing, too. Um, when I've gone to Bon Dances, I see a lot of the same people wearing, like, like matching happy coats like is it people from the same church that just travel around to different bond dances on the island yes oh <laughs> and you guys do that too you travel around to the different really? not necessarily as a group yeah. yeah just the ones that we're scheduled to do but you know otherwise we don't go in our um uniform oh okay yeah. okay you just go in regular clothes right right oh, okay Oh, one thing I wanted to mention, aside from the food, is that some of the temples have activities for children. Oh, so games and things like that, um, bazaars or craft fairs. So that's another thing that you can go to Bon Dances for. You know, get homemade things made by the church members or baked goods. Ah, uh, so yeah, yeah. You know, a lot more to it than just dancing. And I've seen some of the bazaars. Um, it looks like people have donated, it, but like if I'm not a member of the church, do you think I could? Donate to that, or oh, that's a good question. I'm not sure about that. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Oh, well, we'll have to call and find out. <laughs> I was going to mention, you know, Jikoen too. Uh, I think Jikoen is one of them, but they actually have uh, kachashi contests for the little kids too. And uh, basically, kachashi is a dance where you uh, basically dance on any occasion, happy occasion. But uh, uh, it's just basically this kind of movement, and we usually grab a lot of the kids to come out and compete in this. And we always have. Uh, uh, somebody very cute, you know, compete. <laughs> uh, we also have senior citizens that compete as well, too. So it's really fun. <laughs> ah, and this takes place at the same time as the Bon Dance in another part of the... Uh, same time as the Jiko and Bon Dance. I'm not sure it's if they do it on both nights. I'm not sure. Usually towards the end of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so bring your kids, bring your senior citizens, and yeah. maybe they can compete and... Do they want a prize or anything? You actually get a little trophy, I think. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, I, I have to compete yeah. this <laughs> Cool. Okay, so thank you very much. And um, if you want to check them out, make sure you come to the Jikoin Hongenji on, what was it again? July? 21 and 22, Friday, okay. Saturday. And then otherwise, you can check out all the other born dances around the island. Rewind so you can check out some of the moves. Make sure you know how to turn. Use your hands. Don't go to the center of the, the circle. <laughs> <laughs> okay.